Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scott, Scotty Tradition, back with another video. Um, just got back in from vacation today. Um, was spending about uh, five days in Florida. About, spent about two and a half days in St. Augustine. And um, visited the uh, Castillo de San Marcos, which is the uh, Spanish fort built in the 1500s, uh, which was really awesome. The history around that place is so cool. Um, and then uh, also did the uh, Pirate Museum. Uh, in St. Augustine, which is really cool. They have one of only two of the pirate flags in existence that of the Jolly Roger, which is really neat. Um, and um, I think one of the only surviving pirate chests in the world as well. Um, among They also had uh, like some pirate treasure there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then um, after that, drove down to uh, Cocoa Beach and stayed there for another two and a half days and uh, visited the uh, Kennedy Space Center. That was the highlight of that area, and pretty awe-inspiring seeing <laughs> like the Saturn V rocket that they have there. It's just massive, um, and we spent the whole day there um, on uh, Tuesday, and it was amazing. I would highly recommend the Kennedy Space Center if you ever are in that area. Um, so I just got back in the day, um, and I had this uh, pretty sweet uh, package here from JMVP. Uh, YouTuber who I just started following actually within the last couple weeks I want to say maybe a month but for sure uh, a couple weeks um, so this was a surprise mail day that I had in my mailbox so I have not opened it yet so thanks uh, Mr. JMVP for whatever you sent um, definitely a surprise so I'm gonna cut this baby open and see what we have Kind of a cool surprise um, coming back from vacation. Haven't been buying a whole lot lately, so let's see what we got here. And it doesn't look like there's a note in there. Just gonna set that back up there for now. And um, basically just is a Scani tradition. With some blue tape here. Looks like some top loaders. And there is a little note on top see here Scott here are a few Packer cards nothing too exciting but hopefully all of the shine brightens up your day the, the this weather sucks JMVP well thanks a lot Jay um, really appreciate the uh, you reaching out and uh, sending me a care package and you know I don't know I don't know how I feel about them Cubs but you know I'm a big Brewers fan uh, they had some awesome games last year um, and I can only imagine what that division is going to be like this year with the Brewers, Cubs, and Cardinals all going at it. Um, should be a lot of fun. And I agree with you, this weather does suck. Um, like I just mentioned, I just got back from Florida. And, um, when I left, uh, Orlando this morning, it was 80 degrees. And here, uh, in Wisconsin, it is 20 degrees with a feels like temperature of colder than that. So quite the difference. So let's see what we got here from JMVP. Got uh, an Aaron Rodgers from Absolute Football. Just take a look at the year here. That is from 2017 Absolute. Cool card of Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Got some uh, Eddie Lacy and Jordy Nelson action. And uh, Clay Matthews, all from Topps Platinum. This is from uh, 2014 Topps Platinum. Unfortunately, Eddie Lacy's career never really uh, panned out. He had such a great first couple of years, and then just, like so many running backs do, they just kind of drop out. That's why I don't, I have a hard time collecting running backs. Um, miss Jordy Nelson. And we'll see what they do with Clay Matthews this year. Um, he's a free agent. Um, there's no way they're going to pay him pass rusher type money because he's just not that guy anymore. Um, but yeah, he, what they might do is offer him a little less to move to inside linebacker. Um, we'll see what happens with that, if he'll accept that or not. But I'd be surprised, um, I think, if he did come back. I think he's going to move on this year. Um, and then Dix, another guy that had a great first two couple years and then kind of just fell off for some reason. I don't know why. I still have a couple nice uh, Haha Clinton Dix cards that I was holding on to as well. Um, and now he's uh, he was with the Redskins, so I'm not sure if he's still with them or if he's going to be on another team. Uh, come the start of the year. Um, here we got a Jamal Williams rookie roundup. Um, I do like Jamal Williams as a running back. 
Um, he can catch the ball out of the backfield a little bit. They have a pretty good tandem running back, I think, actually, with Jamal Williams and Aaron Jones. Uh, we got an Eddie Lacy from Prism. We got a Randall Cobb, uh, Green Prism. And what year is this from? This is from 2017 Prism. And um, as you guys probably know, I'm mostly a vintage collector, but one of the products I, I do, uh, I am partial to, is Unparalleled. I just love the way these cards look. Uh, these unparalleled cards. The only pro the only problem with them, as you can see, the Jordy as well, is that you never know which ones are numbered, which ones are not numbered. These look like they're base, but they all look so nice that even the base cards look awesome. Very cool. And then um, let's see, uh, Brett Favre uh, out of unparalleled as well. This is from uh, 2016 unparalleled. Cool looking card there. Well, I thank you, JMVP, for reaching out and sending me a surprise care package. It's, al it's always good to get a care package uh, from anybody, so I really appreciate it, man. Um, and I know you collect Cubs, and I'm not sure if you do football or basketball or any other sports, or if it's just mainly Cubs or not, but, uh, um, you know, I'll get you back in due time. So, um, I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, anything else I want to talk about? Oh, I just finished watching the uh, Bucks Celtics game tonight, so that's cool. Um, Bucks won by one point, so now the Bucks record is forty-four and uh, fourteen, which is in insane. <laughs> the Bucks are thirty games over five hundred. I mean, we're talking about the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I don't remember that in at any point in my lifetime that, that being the case. So they're the best record in the NBA right now. Only team in the league to not lose back-to-back -back games and to not lose to the same team twice. Just amazing, um, and I'm actually going to the Bucks game on sun on Saturday. They're playing the uh, Timberwolves, so I'm going with uh, Bert Cat Eight uh, Joey, who's another YouTuber. So go check out uh, Bert Cat Eight Joey if you haven't given him a look yet, and go check out JMVP. Awesome, awesome care package. Really appreciate it, and I hope you guys all have a great night. Um, I'm a little behind on videos because I've been on vacation, but I'll be trying to catch up here over the weekend. Um, and also, uh, I do have a few contest responses I need to get out as well. So thank you very much, Jay. You guys have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.